have the resources, thousands of dollars, maybe a plastic card that you have and you are walking in a mall with hundreds of stores. So whatever we like, we desire, we can get it because you have the resources in relationship to the world outside. So wealth is one resource. Power is another resource. Here are the powers, or you have a power, any kind of power. So when we use the power with reference to the world, you can grab anything, legal or illegal. And third is, third resource is that we can get all kinds of pleasures also. I call it as an Uncle Sam. Question is, with these resources, can I have permanent peace and happiness in the world? Can I live with permanent peace and happiness? Uh, I may have a heart attack and the billions of dollars are lying in the bank. I'm living in a mansion. I'm not saying don't achieve that what you want to achieve. But understand that a big house, lot of money, all kinds of pleasure does, do not lead us to permanent peace and happiness. There is no satisfaction. Insecurity, dissatisfaction, and the sense of unhappiness are always chase us like a shadow. So we talked about one type of resources in the world. No doubt, it has the power you can attain, you can achieve with those resources. Authority, you know, you have 50,000 followers. Can that make you happy? Yes, for a time being, but they, it does not lead you to permanent peace and happiness. We are seekers of permanent peace and happiness. Eastern wisdom says, in order to achieve, in order to discover that permanent peace and happiness which are within us, that is our essential nature, we need a different kind of resources. Have you not seen that those months they don't have, they have none. None of these resources which we have and they are the happiest people. I'm not talking of the uh, daily monks you see. I'm talking of the traditional monks who have achieved the highest consciousness. What are those resources they have? You delete from your mind all the cult rituals and other crazy practices. These resources are the right knowledge in the intellect, right desire in the mind, and the right action in my life. So what happens? Right knowledge, right desire in the mind, and right action that merges the knowledge with the practice, with an action, results into the discovery of our essential nature. That is of the nature of peace, happiness, love, and wisdom. How it happens? We have to treat the path of Eastern wisdom. That includes hundreds of practices simple principles and 